We're going to hold off on MongoDB for a bit and stick with one-off tutorials. Today we're taking a look at the query string, which is the stuff you sometimes see in a URL that looks like this. It used to be if you wanted to just read those values and convert them into individual JavaScript variables, or an object full of key value pairs, you had to do a bunch of tedious string parsing. Something like the following code. Oh, by the way, locally we have to use a uh, variable. Alright, let's see if I got that one right on the first try. Sure didn't. There we go. That's a nifty little function. You could also easily expand it to take an argument, which would allow you to pass the query string instead of using a global variable, or use window.location.search. But it's still a bit clunky and fragile. And it only produces an object as its output. Wouldn't it be nice if browsers would just support a native function that would give us a lot of flexibility when working with the query string? Well, good news, everyone! It turns out that most modern browsers do exactly that. Witness the glory of URL search params. This simple built-in function will allow us to do all sorts of things with the data that we've got in our query string. Two quick caveats. First, this function does not work in Internet Explorer, a browser that Microsoft is in the process of deprecating and that only roughly 2% of Internet users still use. Or Edge for mobile, a browser Microsoft has said it will deprecate and that virtually no one uses. It works fine in modern versions of Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, Edge for desktop, and others. So it all depends on which users you're trying to support. We're going to assume our users are on modern browsers for the purpose of this tutorial. First, let's get rid of this old code. So long. And we're going to need this line of code. Note, again, locally, for some reason, you can't use a file and have a query string. So I have to use our variable if you were working in an actual web server, you would be able to use window.location.search. Now, you'd think you could just console log URL params from there, but nope. It's not a simple object, but rather an entire JS class with a whole bunch of methods you can access. Here are several methods for accessing your query string data. So this first line is going to give us captain code, Second line is going to give us all three values. And the third line is going to give us true. As you can see, first line gives us captain code. Second line gives us all three values. And final line gives us true. Let's add a separator. Now, do you want each key value pair as an array? No problem. Check this out. Save that, run it. Here are our arrays. Let's add another separator. You can also easily get just the keys or just the values like this. Save that, refresh again. As you can see, our keys are username, ID, and email, and then our values are captain code 12345, captain code at closebrace.com. By the way, that email address does not work, sorry. So in addition to all of that, you can manipulate the values once you've ingested them, including setting a value, appending a value, or deleting a value. Note that this won't change your actual query string, it just changes the data stored in the URL search params object we're working with. Add another separator. Oops, 
this first get should be set. Otherwise, it's just going to get the value, not change it. Save that. Refresh. There we go. We can see that we set the username to Captain Code 2, and then when we get it, that is correctly changed. We set the age to 31 and get it, and it shows. Then we delete age entirely, and when we try to look for it again with has, we get false this time. As you can see, URL search params is a powerful new way to work with the query string that allows a ton of flexibility. I definitely recommend it, and hey, if you gotta support IE in Edge Mobile, there's always transpiling, right? See you next week.